Hello people, today we are going to learn about project selection methods. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, before um, starting to work on the, um, the project selection methods, uh, let's uh, learn about uh, how the project should sta start. So before initiating, what all things we should do uh, or the project sponsor should do. First of all, internal needs, external influences should be analyzed to initiate the project. These are the uh, reasons why the project is initiated. Either some internal need is there or some external influence is there, which leads to project initiation. Project manager should be appointed. A need assessment or feasibility study may be conducted. PMO sponsor and a portfolio steering committee is formed and reviews uh, feasibility of the project. Create and under understand the business case and project is led by the sponsor until it is authorized. Uh, then comes the PM's role. What PM does is determines company culture and existing system. Collect processes, procedure and historical information. Divide uh, large uh, Divides large projects into phases. Uncover initial requirement, assumption, risks, constraints, and existing agreement. Assess project and product feasibility within the given constraints. Create measurable objectives. Develop project charter and identify stakeholders and determine their expectations and influence and impact. How is project selected? Uh, PM must know wh why project was selected and how it fits into the organization's strategic plan and it should, he should also make sure that the project meets the needs of the organization or thus it follows the organization's strategic plans. So for this uh, the business analyst uh, creates the business case. The business case answers all these questions, uh, why the project was selected and how it fulfills the organization's strategic needs. The methods used to select the project is uh, benefit measurement method which is which also takes the comparative approach and under this comes a scoring model. A scoring model is like uh, uh, assigning weights to each of the um, factor uh, which the PM has identified and then calculating the total weight for each project and whichever project scores highest uh, gets selected. Second is a peer review or model board in which uh, all the team members uh, or the people involved in the selection of the project um, try to turn down the other's point of view and whichever project has the highest positive review gets, the, um, gets selected. And then there is an economic model and comparative approaches which we are going to study next. Uh, another approach is mathematical approach which is linear programming, integer programming, dynamic programming, multi-objective programming and decision trees. Economic models. So first thing is present value. Present, uh, for, uh, select, before selecting any project we should first uh, calculate the present value and present value is calculated as Future value divided by 1 plus interest rate raised to power n. n is the time period. Another thing is net present value. Net present value is calculated as the sum of present value of expected inflows minus the outflows. Higher the NPV, the better. So, so for example, in the view, uh, in the exam, it might be in the NPV value is given. You just need to identify whichever is the highest, higher. Mm, whichever project has higher NPV, you can select that because that has the better chances. Uh, DCF is discounted cash flow. Uh, it is calculated as the present value of investment uh, as, uh, of an investment future cash flow. ROI is uh, uh, return on investment, which is net benefit divided by total cost. IRR is discount uh, rate that makes NPV equal to zero. IRR is uh, if the IRR is greater than bank rate, then it is a good investment. This is a good point to remember. Example. Uh, let's do some example to understand more. 
uh, what's present value of 300 received three years from now if interest rate is 10 so using this formula for calculating present value future value upon a uh, 1 plus r raised to power n so if we put the values here we will get this value so present value of this project uh, which um, which which says that it is going to uh, receive 300 for three years is this much 225.394 and PV example a company has two projects to choose from project X will take three years to complete and has NPV of 45,000 project Y will take six years to complete has and has NPV of 85,000 which one is better obviously project project Y is better because in case of NPV, number of years is not relevant the, uh, because the NPV is calculated based on the number of years. So whatever is the final value from the exam point of view, whichever uh, value NPV value is a higher, we select that project as the better one. So in this case, uh, for first project, is it is 45,000 and third second project uh, NPV is 85,000 so the second project has higher NPV net present value so this project is better for us to take uh, if you didn't understand the previous example let's do some calculation and understand this is the time period this is uh, for the project to three years zero to three years then income from zero to three years uh, it, this is the uh, present value calculation for each year so if the income is 0 the present value is 0 income is 50 and then present value is 45 how we calculate it is like this uh, for 50 50 uh, present value income is 50 so present value is calculated at 50 divided by 1 plus r r is 10 percent so 1.1 uh, divided by 1.1 raised to power 1 because this is first year so 1.1 which gives us the value 45 so this is the approximate value 45 similarly 100 divided by 1 1.1 raised to power 2 so this gives so similarly we have to calculate for each of the year uh, which will give these values for the present value and then adding these will give you the total net present value for this and we know the cost is given for zero year 200 is the cost the first year is 100 is the cost for each of the cost we again using the present value formula we will calculate and we will get this answer uh, adding those present value will get this uh, value total of uh, net present value for the cost so the for, for calculating the final value we have to uh, mm, subtract from the pre net uh, present value of the income minus cost which gives you 362 so this is the way how you calculate the net present value IRR example two projects uh, project A has IRR 20% and project B has IRR 15% which one is better so in case of IRR, IRR, IRR uh, higher uh, higher the IIR, IRR, <laughs> the better the project is. So just remember this. Higher higher IRR is better. Other selection methods are payback period, uh, which is also known as the amount of time to recover investment. So example is XYZ uh, recovered their investment in six months so so the payback period is six months in this case the uh, the irrespective of the amount uh, the period of uh, the the payback period um, is the um, is important so if uh, for example if you have another project whose payback period is uh, one year and uh, the amount investment amount is ten thousand and for uh, um, this project the payback period is six months and the investment amount is twenty thousand so still the only the period uh, um, matter it doesn't matter how much amount we have investment because even if we invested for twenty thousand and the re recover uh, we recovered it only in the six months so the lesser the payback period 
the better the project cost benefit analysis is calculated as the present value of the future cash flow divided by initial investment so we will uh, calculate the benefit cost ratio total benefit divided by total cost if the bcr which is benefit cost ratio is greater than 1 it is a good investment uh, this uh, let's do some example uh, if this this is the given uh, for this condition using net present value which project is better obviously the highest uh, higher uh, net present value the better the project so in this first case 95,000 is greater than 75 so we will pick the project A in case of IAR IRR higher the IRR the better the project so 13% 17% project B has 17% so the project B we should pick project B payback period irrespective of the amount invested the lower the payback period we should uh, consider that project so in this case 16 months is lo lower than 21 months so project A is selected in case of benefit cost ratio higher the benefit cost ratio better the project because benefit outweigh the cost so in this case 2.79 is greater than 1.3 so we will select the project A opportunity cost opportunity cost is the value of the project not selected so if there are two projects, project A has net present value of 45,000 and project B has net present value of 85,000. So the opportunity cost of project is 85, project B is 45,000. Because by selecting project B, we are giving up the value 45,000. So lower the opportunity cost, better is the project. So if we select project A, we are giving up 85,000. So this is not desirable. So we must think about the opportunity cost before selecting the project. This is an example of scoring model. A uh, scoring model has uh, certain criteria and we assign scores and weight for each of the criteria and then we calculate the weighted score and add the total score. So whichever project gets the highest total score we select that project. So in this case uh, project beta has scored 19 whereas the project alpha has scored 13 so better project is project beta so we will select the project beta so guys i hope you understood uh, the project selection method uh, next we will do the uh, other pmp topics uh, so please come back to my channel and subscribe to my channel here uh, for more information and tutorial on, on geek topics thank you very much for watching